All right, if you see what's behind me, you've already watched Spider Beam 14 Meter Pole Part 1 video. If you haven't, go back and have a look at that. It was absolute uh, comedy classic, me trying to get that thing up on my own. It is a monster. So, it's up. Why? Because my friend, I'm not sure if she's my friend because he's um, he sent me a challenge here. He's um, he's made an antenna, Tim G5 OLD has made a, um, a really nice a ZS6BKW antenna. Now, I don't know a lot about this, so I'm, I'm reading it off my phone. So it's got 14 meter uh, legs, and then it's got a ladder line for the feeder, um, which comes down at about 11.2 meters. Now, I know Tim had had a few issues tuning this. Maybe that's why he sent it to me, he was fed up of it. But he's, it's really nicely made. He's got some 3D printed parts on it including a nice um, ballon at the bottom of it. It needs to be on a tall mast. It's okay as an inverted V, as long as the ends are, you know, a meter off the ground. So we can quite easily facilitate that with some guy ropes. And I think it'd be perfect as a QRP beach stroke holiday antenna. For the history about this, the, the designer intended it to be an improved version of the famous G5 RV, which is a multi-band antenna, but needs a tuner on most bands. So the idea with this one is that you can use on 80, 40, 20, 17, 12, 10, and six meters without a tuner, with no ATU, if you can get it rigged up at the right height. Um, it must have many lobes on six meters. So I'm gonna hook it up. I'm gonna try and drop this mast, hook it up, stretch it back out, Try and keep the ends a meter off the ground. We'll do some measurements on it with the old uh, MFJ. And then maybe tomorrow I'll get it on the air. Yes, it's up. I left the base, well the second bottom section of the mast is still inside the, the bottom section so it's high enough. The, um, the feeder's hanging about three feet off the ground, almost a metre. Right, I'm going to hook up, hook up some coax. Well, once I've tied off the ends of this, I'm going to hook up some uh, coax, get the MFJ on it, give it a quick test. All right then, I've probably got about 10 metres of RG58 type stuff, a few adapters, hooking it all together, got the old ever reliable MFJ. I'm going to try and record the, the two to one low and high uh, SWR points for each band um, on here. And um, if you're really lucky, when I get home, I'll maybe do it on a spreadsheet and put a table on at the end of the, uh, the video. Right, back in a minute. All right, a quick resume of where we're at. Now, Tim did say to me, he'd cut this long, okay? So I think that's what this shows. So I couldn't get anything on um, 80 metres. The lowest test we are was three to one. Um, 40 metres, it was only working between seven and 7.060 megahertz. Uh, 20 metres was between 14 megahertz and 14.269, so a good bit of the band. On 17 metres, I couldn't get it to tune at all. It was tuning out of band. Um, on 12 metres, um, the 2 to 1 was at 24.890 and everything else was higher. <clears throat> on 10 metres, I actually tuned the 2 to 1 points were between 28 megahertz flat and 28,800 and it was running at 1 to 1 at 28,500. So pretty usable across the CW and SSB section of that band. And then I spun it up to 6 and um, from 50 megahertz to 50.7 megahertz. Um, I was getting an SWR between 1.4 and 2 to 1. Okay, so it looks like it's it's long, and I'm going to try, trim, Tim said I could trim it, and uh, I think he's quite expecting to either to not get this back or to get it back butchered. So I'm going to trim it, and I'm going to see if I can make any improvements, okay? Back in a minute. Okay, first of all, you never cut another man's antenna. I shortened it at 20 centimetres at each end uh, by folding it back and wrapping the excess around. And that's a good enough job for, for a temporary measurement. Um, I have to tell you, Tim, uh, there's little sections of heat shrink wrapping where Tim had obviously made the antenna that length. 
and then extended it because he couldn't get it to tune. Well, you, Tim, you were right first time because my folds are pretty much where you've got your heat shrink wrap in. So well done. Now it needs a bit more fine tuning. I've got it in band on every band, not perfect, but I'm going to try a 40 meter uh, QSO because Tim's just messaged me and said he's by his radio. So it'd be uh, it'd be nice to have a, a a quick QSO with the owner. So I'm going to go and grab the KX2. I'll arrange a sked with Tim. We'll be back in a minute. How to spoil a C view. CQ, 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 CQ40, CQ40 meters, CQ40, mic, mic zero, Echo Foxtrot India Portable, mic, mic zero, Echo Foxtrot India Portable, calling CQ, CQ40 meters, QRZ. <laughs> There he is. Uh, Golf 5, Oscar Lima Delta. Good evening, Tim. Noisy band, noisy band, but you're perfectly readable. Uh, go again, I'll give you a report, over. Uh, QSL Tim, 59 plus, that's surprising. You're 59 plus to me, 59 plus. And yes, I just folded 20 centimetres back to your original length and it's working well on 40, over. Uh, brilliant, brilliant, QSL. Well, thanks for doing that. Uh, uh, that's quite huge. I think I've got a little bit more than the first cut there. Uh, but that's great. And uh, we're going to see it high up on the... Uh, Doubled. Yeah, okay, mate. Thank you very much for sending the antenna. It's been good fun messing about with it. Have a good day. 7 3. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Uh, Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India Portable. QRT frequency is now clear. Oh, there you go. Speak to the builder. Well done, Tim. Thanks for sending that up. I'm going to mess about with this more tomorrow. That could be part three. Seven three.